Hey guys, welcome back to another innovation review. Today we're going to be checking out the Cy Rusher XF690 Max S. And before we get into the review, I just want to ask you guys if you would take a second, go over and hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest reviews. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into the review. First, let's talk about the looks. Now this bike is huge. This is a big monster of a bike. The huge oversized tires, the big thick top tube. This thing should be able to go wherever you want. This is more something that you would take off-road and you could take into some deep trails. And as you'll see, we, we took this thing through the ringer and we went through mud puddles. We went off-road. We, we did hill climbs. And this thing was pretty capable to, to handle everything that we threw at it. Next, let's talk about the motor. So we've got here a 750-watt LKS rear hub motor. We've got 80 newton meters of torque with a top speed of 26 miles per hour. And in the trails, that's plenty fast. Now, this bike in particular is not necessarily going to burn some rubber and get up and go as quick as some of the other models, just given the size and the tires. It's got a lot of torque, it's got a lot of power, but getting up to the top speed is is about average. It's, it's not going to take anything off the line, but, but once you get up and go, this thing has plenty of power and plenty of speed. The noise is really negligible. Once you're going through the trails and, and you get a little bit of dirt underneath the tires, it's near silent. It doesn't have much of a whine or a hum to it. Next, let's talk about the battery. We've got a 48 volt, 15 amp hour lithium ion battery, and we've got a 35 to 55 mile an hour range. Now I rode this thing for a good hour and a half through the woods. I put it through the paces. I did about 15 miles and I only dropped a couple bars. So this thing has a lot of capacity. Now once you drain it down and you need to recharge, they're projecting five to seven hours on the charge. It took probably four and a half, five hours to charge this thing up. Now, when you go to charge this up, it's really nice. You have a charging port here on the side that's just a quick plug and play. I would say four and a half to five hours should get you a full charge and you'll be back on the road by no time. A couple things about this battery is it's waterproof and it's removable. Now, it is a bigger bike, so it is coming with a little bigger of a battery. Getting it out is fairly simple. Uh, it's keyed, so it requires a key to unlock and remove the battery. It is a bigger battery, but one thing that's pretty cool about this battery is it does have the charging port behind the hinge mechanism on the bike, so you can plug it in straight there to the bike, or you can take the battery out and charge it separately from the bike. Next, let's talk about the brakes. Now this bike comes equipped with Zoom hydraulic brakes and right out of the box these things were pretty good to go. Uh, we've got 180 millimeter disc rotors and a bike this size, wheels and tires this size, you need as big, of, as big and bad of brakes as you can get and these things did the job. Uphill, downhill, these things, they work great, the modulation was great, the pads themselves perfect no squeaking or grinding right out of the box they didn't need any adjustments and they had enough power to do some endos do some stoppies and no problems at all these things are powerful and it really really gives you a sense of comfort on a bike this big uh going this fast in the places you are that, that this thing can stop when it needs to next let's talk about the gears now, this bike comes equipped with a Shimano 27-speed gear set. It's nice to see that Shimano name brand, even if it is a, a lower model of their, of their offerings. Now, Cyrusher has told us that they plan to go down to just a 7-speed gear set in the next iteration of this bike, and that makes sense. As I was pedaling around, I really only used a few gears uh, with the power of the motor. Really, the three rings up front... Some people may like them. I'm not really used to riding a bike with three gears in front, so I just I set it to one gear in the front that feels comfortable for where I'm pedaling, and I just kind of go with that and use the, use the remaining gears in the rear to get where I need to go. And this thing right out of the box was ready to get up and go. I didn't have to do any adjustments, uh, but just knowing that it had that Shimano name and I could take it in and I could get it worked on if I need to or I could get the parts that I need to, 
really gives me the peace of mind. Um, I like seeing that Shimano name here on the bike. Next, let's talk about the extras. So a couple cool features of this bike is the rack. So the rack we have here in the back is great for whatever you may need to haul around. It's sturdy enough to, to put some small cargo on. It's really nice to be able to just strap down, you know, whatever you may be taking to the beach, uh, out to the park. The front light's great for when the sun goes down and you want to keep pedaling. Uh, it's integrated into the battery, so that's great. Just a simple push on your control switch and you've got some light. Another cool feature are the pedals. These pedals are a little bit more of an upgrade from the standard pedals on the Rusher bikes. They're a metal platform pedal. They've got some great grip, a low profile, and help keep your feet on when things get slippery. Another cool feature are these big oversized fenders. When you get these tires out in the dirt, they're throwing up rocks and dirt and all kinds of stuff, and the fenders do a great job of keeping that stuff down and keeping you safe as you ride. Next, let's talk about folding this thing up. So one of the really cool features about this bike is that it does fold. So folding, you think you can store it in a smaller space. It takes up a smaller footprint. It's great to be able to collapse this thing down and put it where you need to. One thing to note is that this is a larger bike. It's got some really big tires, it's got a big frame to it, and it has a lot of bulk. Although it does fold, it does still take up quite a bit of space. And coming in at 66 pounds, it's a little heavy, a little bulky to move around. It may take two people to lift it up and into a trunk, into a truck bed, just depending on the person. But it does fold, and it's a great feature to have in a small space. Now, once it's all folded up, it has dimensions of 39 inches by 41 and a half inches. So, like I said, it does fold down and collapse, but it may not fit in your average closet. It may be something that you can tuck away in. In a corner of a room, an apartment, or the garage, but it is a little cumbersome, a little bit bigger. Uh, just a couple things to take note of. Next, let's talk about the suspension. So up front, we have the Lank Lessey 80 millimeter shocks, and these things do a great job of absorbing any of the bumps mixed with those huge tires up front. It makes it real plush. Now for the rear suspension, we've got the HLT 100 air shock and this is a standard shock that you see on most of the Cy Rusher bikes. Now I weigh roughly 180 pounds and with this suspension set up, it was more than enough for, you know, your standard rider to feel comfortable and having the big tires with the front and rear suspension uh, really makes for a plush ride. One thing that's nice about the front shock is it is adjustable as far as a couple clicks. You can dial the shock in to where you need to, whether it's fully locked out or to make it as squishy as you need to. Next, let's talk about the controls. You've got a 3.7 inch LCD display and here's some of the features that you can expect to see on it. You have your power, right? Your battery life. You've also got your speed. You have your pedal assist level. You have your running time. You've got a air option. So if there's any error codes that may be thrown, um, you have a trip and you have your odometer. The LCD display does light up in the dark, so it's great to see at night. It's really bright um, in the day. I had no problem seeing it. Another feature is the light. Depress and hold the top button and your light will come on. It'll give you a heads up display there on your LCD screen. And when you want to turn the light off, just press and hold the top button and the light goes off. Next, let's talk about the riders. So this bike, I believe, would be more tailored towards someone who is wanting to get off onto some trails and go into the woods. It's got the big four inch tires, so handling the off-road is no problem. But one thing to factor in is the weight and the standover. So maybe someone 5'10 and up, this thing would be better suited for. With a standover height of 36 inches, it's just something to consider. Now, someone who also wants to, the ability to fold this bike up and put it in a corner, uh, load it up into a vehicle, also a great option. Just remember that this thing does weigh in about 66 pounds, so keep that into consideration when you're thinking about the actual application of taking this bike out and using it. But on off-road, this thing does great. Now, if we decided to use this bike as a commuter, some cool features would be the back rack. You still have the ability to put on whatever it is you need to take, but you could hop off the street, 
You could get into some trails and make your commute a little shorter, make it a little more interesting. That'll do it for the nuts and bolts of this review. We're going to take it outside for the ride test. We've got a link here. You can check out the full video. So now let's head out for the ride test. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna hop into this trail system right here. Now we're gonna start with this thing completely powered off and see how she does. You know, I've been cruising this thing around and honestly, it's not that bad to pedal as is, you know, 60 plus pounds on a bike. And you really can just cruise right along. It's got these big old tires, pretty sweet ride. got some horse hoof got some hoof prints here now still pedaling pedaling this thing in the in the sand isn't the easiest but definitely manageable you can make your way out of the woods if you need to it's powered on all right we're at pedal assist level one easy beautiful day Hitting 17 kilometers there. Let's try throttle. Pedal assist level two. Ooh. Kilometers. Oh, yeah, I got the horses out. Nice. Let's hit it up to level three. So that's gonna do it for our review of the Cyrusher XF690 Max S. Thanks for sticking with us. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date on our latest reviews. And until next time, ride on, brother.